Hi, it's Elizabeth with Simply Everyday Elizabeth. I got some fun mail today. It is September Ipsy Box reveal time. Um, so I thought um, I would share what I got. I actually decided, instead of just opening up the box and saying, what's inside? Um, to actually try to use some of the products beforehand so I could tell you. So this afternoon I've been having fun going through my bag and using those products. Um, excuse me. Um, do you like my shirt? I won it um, on Facebook. I had liked a site that a lot of my girlfriends had liked um, called Philly. Oh, now that's probably going to be backwards to you. <laughs> it's Philly Flair. And they have such cute clothes. I think, um, oh, I should have looked this up. But it's a boutique based out of Georgia. I don't know. They got a lot of southwestern y, kind of just fun, trendy. Um, type clothes and it's funny because I had pinned this shirt and I really liked it They had one in black and one in cream. I like the one in black cream's not really my color, but I want it So I'm gonna wear it um, But they had you know you just had to share it on Facebook and I didn't even know I'd won one of my friends tagged me and I was like Oh cool, so I got it and it fits and I love it The sleeves are actually like super stretchy and they're sheer. They're like see-through. It's like a, a meshy Fabric, but it's really soft. It's not scratchy the good quality clothes so anyways you're not here for that you're here for ipsy right i was just really excited so i thought i'd share that with you guys i'll leave a link um to their facebook page and their website below not a sponsored post i was just excited because i won the shirt you know so cool stuff um and i'll have a stitch fix reveal next week yay we have a new september box coming anyway so ipsy this month is face fashion um let's see um, they give you a preview now if you'll share it on Facebook of your bag. So I knew what I was getting ahead of time. Uh, let me pull this out. Should have been a little bit more prepared. I'm very sorry. Um, this is the bag we got this month. It's a pretty bronzy color. It's got a uh, chevron uh, texture here. So, and then it's flat, it's shiny bag there. But it's a nice size bag. I've been using my other Ipsy bag as a makeup bag in my purse, so maybe we'll just switch it out to be a little more shimmery this month. You never have too many makeup bags, right? Or can you? I think you can. <laughs> so anyways, this is what I got this month. I was super excited to see I was getting an eyelash curler. Um, and it's purple, which is like totally my favorite color. Um, I really like this one. I'm sad. I've had the same eyelash curler forever. It's just... I don't even know which one it is. It's probably the Rebel on one from Target. Um, and, you know, it's old, like the black piece. I just need to buy a new one. So I, was ex I just never replaced it. So I was excited to see a brand new purple one. And this one, the way it's shaped, um, I feel like I have really small eyes. Uh, this one just got really close to the bottom of my lashes and it was able to curl it um, really well. So I like this. And um, the retail, I looked at the retail value and everything because I was curious what my money's worth. Uh, was and this you can order from oh goodness I didn't write down the website but it's just five dollars so it's just a, a fun pretty five dollar um, eyelash curler and so I like it it works really well uh, the next product I got is this glam glow it's a mud uh, flash mud brightening treatment and the minute I saw this I wanted to try it I've heard really wonderful things about this um, and I hadn't gotten ready today, so I thought, okay, I'm going to take a shower, clean up, do my hair, wash my face, and use the mask and all that good stuff. Um, a small 1.7 ounce jar of this is $69 at Sephora. Um, this is a 0.5, I think it's just like a three-day sample, which they tell you, use it for three days and your skin will be amazing. Um, so I'll use it, um, use it today, and I'll use it over the next few days. It smells wonderful. It's got um, little exfoliating, uh, pre-exfoliating things in it. And so you just gently massage the amount you want onto your face in circular motion, then just let it sit 10, 20 minutes. I let it sit the full 20 minutes. It felt great. I have sensitive skin. Some people said um, if you have sensitive skin, it'll make your face kind of red and irritated a little bit, but I didn't have any problem. It smelled great. It felt great. Um, after I rinsed it off, it, it my skin felt amazing. Do I look glowy? I don't know. <laughs> I got the light in the background. It's very sunshiny today. Um, I apologize if that's too bright. I'm trying to get better angles in here. Um, yeah, but definitely no pro. <laughs> um, anyway, so um, I don't know that I would ever actually spend the money on that, but if it does change my face forever, um, I may, and I've heard really awesome things about this. So the one day use, um, I'm really liking the way my skin felt. 
So I'll use it again the next couple of days and we'll see how younger and radiant I look. <laughs> Um, let's see, product number three is a bronze waterproof slide-on pencil from JCAT Beauty. I will be honest, I've gotten some things from JCAT Beauty in the past from them. I don't like it. I think their products are cheap, um, and it, it, it felt cheap. The color is gorgeous, um, but as I put it on, it just didn't, um, it wasn't vibrant. It, did, it looks more brown. It didn't look bronzy, golden, shimmery, kind of like how I thought it would. Um, I have it on right now. You can't really see it. Um, I just smudged it down here and then I attempted to put it on top of my eyeshadow and it just, it wasn't going on very well. I read a few people said that it kind of broke off at the end. They couldn't apply it and it was just, I don't know. So am I excited about this one? Not really. Womp womp. Um, JCAT Beauty, you can buy this for $2.49. Not a very expensive pencil. Um, I have e.l.f. pencils <laughs> that I think work better than this that are better pigmented. Um, so, uh, yeah, well, I don't know if I'll get much use out of it, but it was fun to try. Um, the next thing I got was from Pixie by Petra. I, I, I see this at Target a lot. I've never really purchased anything. I have a primer that I got in a previous um, Ulta Ulta, oops, wrong company, Ipsy beauty bag, um, and I don't care for that either, <laughs> so, um, but it's a brow, it's a mini tri-color uh, brow powder, um, I've never used brow powder, I looked up how to use it, because I don't really do much with my brows aside from, I, I just pluck my own brows, and then I had gotten, um, what did I get, well, this brow tint from Ulta I got in their recent beauty bag uh, gift of the month thing, and I actually really like this one. Um, I don't have it in today. I put in my Julep Clear Gel, and I tried to put the powder over it to kind of like hold it. It wasn't covering anything. Even the darkest color, I wasn't noticing noticing any shading. Um, some people said go for it and use it as eyeshadow, so maybe I'll try it as an eyeshadow um, for some matte neutral colors. Um, I looked up some of this. Excuse me. Alarm on my phone. Don't you love interruptions? My kids will be home very soon. I tried to get this done before they got home. Um, anyways, um, I'm not super impressed with this, but it's gotten, uh, it has great reviews online for their, um, and they have a $6 brow palette, $6. It's a $12 palette with six different colors. It comes with a highlighter and then a really dark and um, the reviews were really good on it, so I thought, oh, this would be great. I just, it's not working for me. Um, my brows are pretty full, and I don't have any patchy spots that are really bad, so I, I really generally don't do much with mine. Maybe I need to learn to. I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, so I wasn't super impressed with that. Um, and then the last product I got was, I'm looking at my piece of paper because I wrote down notes. I'm trying to be prepared. I really did. Um, it's the Tresemme um, Perfectly Undone Wave Creation Sea Foam. So I think it's kind of like a sea salt uh, mousse instead of a spray maybe. I have never used a sea salt spray because I didn't think they'd ever work in my hair. Um, my hair is a lot shorter than it used to be. I used to be below my shoulders. Um, this summer before I cut it off into a short pixie bob and um, I have very fine straight hair um, doesn't generally hold curls super well um, but uh, my wonderful hairstylist taught me how to curl it better <laughs> and it's laying a lot better um, so today I thought oh, I'll try this why not my hair is short so I wasn't sure what kind of texture or waves it was going to give to my non absolutely curly hair uh, so washed and dried my hair, uh, no, washed, conditioned my hair, and then it said to section it off into two or three sections, so I, I don't really have long hair in the back, I don't know if you can even see that, it's pretty, you know, short, uh, there's not much to curl back there, so, um, I just took two or three squirts, and I rubbed it all over in here, rubbed it all over on this side, and then just kind of poofed up, you know, back here where it's a little bit longer, and then I blow dried it um, as normal, which I blow dried my hair all forward in the opposite direction I want it to lay to give it more volume, and then I use, I don't even know what size curling iron, I think this is a one and a half inch curling iron, I just, normally I use my straightener, but as short as my hair is, it's kind of hard to curl it with my straightener, I just need more practice, um, so I use that, and then I just did like big chunky sections and I curled them away from my face and then I just kind of you know poofed it up and I actually the few times I've tried this in the past it hasn't worked super well and the only product in my hair um, is this I did this and then a little bit of hairspray just to hold it but I mean just for the texture and the you know a little bit away from the curling iron 
very little work. I mean, I like the actual texture that's giving it. It's not just the straight, sleek look that I normally have. So do I recommend this? Probably, but I've never tried anything else, so I'm sure... I don't know. I don't use it that often, so it'll be nice to have it as, like, another idea if I want to add, you know, some volume and texture to my hair. So... Those are my five products that I got this month. So I would say, you know, a three out of five, and I like the bag, so it's worth my $10 this month. And um, my last bag was awesome, so it's hard to beat that. And not all FC bags are wonderful. You never know what you're going to get. You know, they try to base it off a profile that you give them, and then as long as you're giving reviews, maybe they can help match you up better in the future. So um, I'll probably go ahead and continue next month because it's always fun to try new products. That's my favorite part. And in the end of the day, just getting this Glam Glow for 10 bucks is probably worth it since it's almost $70 for um, two thirds more. <laughs> so um, anyways, I've got, um, I've been ordering some makeup. I've been come recently obsessed with Kat Von D makeup. Um, I don't tend to wear dark things but I would love to do some reviews. I'm no beauty expert, but when I like something, I like to talk about it. Um, and my first Kat Von D purchase ever was an eyeshadow palette, and I'd like to talk about it. It's pretty old, and I can't even find anything on it, actually. Um, but um, I recently bought her Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Santa Sangria. Sangre. This is a gorgeous color red, and this is some awesome liquid lipstick. And then my husband, um, he pick, he picks, I tell you what, he picks the strangest things for me. I think he wants me to look funny. <laughs> um, this is Piaf. This is named after her cat, and it's a brown with, like, purple shimmer in it, and that's what I have on right now. Every time I put it on, I think, oh, it's so weird, but I've been wearing it, like, the last um, week or so off and on just so I can kind of get used to it, and I'm really liking it for fall. Um, brown is a neat color, and I hear 90s grunge <laughs> is coming in, so um, if you're looking for a neat brown with just something awesome, this has a cool brown with purple fleck in it and um, it's hard to tell in here but when you're outside it's like shimmery um, iridescent purple so um, and I've picked up a few other things so maybe I'll go over some things that I found lately that are just fun um, I'm no beauty expert but again from an everyday mommy I like to share things that I find um, that are fun that I'm adding to my makeup routines and um, I really enjoy it so anyways thank you so much for stopping by and seeing my ipsy review uh, this month. Let me know what you got in your Ipsy bag. What did you get different? What did you like? Do you like any of these? Did you wish you get these instead? Um, I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to talk with uh, more of my subscribers um, and get to know you better. If you're not a subscriber, I'd love to have you subscribe below. This is a totally random just for fun channel. Um, uh, I talk about family, running, uh, and then my crochet business and then makeup and beauty just from an everyday mama. So um, give this thumbs up if you um, enjoyed the Ipsy review and I would love to have you subscribe so you can see what we get next month. So thank you so much. Bye-bye.